Hello guys, I'm Vachil Chauhan from Easy Tag and I'm going to review the new Resurrection Remix ROM for OnePlus 2. It is based on Android 7.1.1 that is Android and Nougat. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. This ROM is quite fast and fluid and is stable enough to use it as a daily driver. Bear with some minor bugs here and there. In my 12 days of usage, it only crashed twice. Other than it, no slowdowns whatsoever. Performance of this ROM is same as or better than OOS sometimes. Animations are smooth and handles the UI very smoothly. Opening and closing apps is a breeze, apps open up very fast and the animations makes it even faster. So here I am opening and closing some apps so you can judge the performance and overall smoothness of the UI. Multitasking is amazing, you can run handful of apps or even more than it and keep it running in the background. RAM management is up to the mark. I personally love the multitasking animations of Nougat. So here you can see I have kept many apps in the background and it runs all the apps in the background simultaneously. Battery so you can switch between this ROM is average, same as or less than OS 3.5.6. I used to get around 4 to 4 and the half hours of screen on time with my type of usage. My usage consists of streaming Hotstar for 1 hour, watching YouTube videos for hour or 2, 15 minutes on calls, uh, random switching between social apps, playing low graphic intensive games like Stack, Color Switch or Tricky Trip etc. And I'm using dual sim with Geo Vaulty and I am always on Wi-Fi without using Geo data or any type of data. So going into the configurations panel, you can align the position of the clock left, right, center. You can also show seconds as you can see here. And there are many more features. You can also change the font of your clock, like I have changed here. Now you can also display the brand logo on the status bar. You can also change its location or color if any if you want there are also custom logos i have set the spider-man one and you can also change how the battery is displayed you can change it to the battery bar or circle so you can also display your name in the status bar and there are whole lot of customizations there are tons and tons of things you need to discover on your own. So guys, if you want to, if you want me to make another separate video on these features, let me know in the comment section down below and also hit the like button. So now another one feature is that here you can enable gestures anywhere. So you can, uh, I have set Z for a game. So it op opens up the game as you can see here. And there are many more features I can't go through all of them now. So if you guide if you one guys of my this hit personal favorite feature of this ROM is that you can toggle the flashlight if your phone is off by just long pressing the power button. Audio via the 3.5 mm headphone jack is good, but not as good as Oxygen OS. And also the speaker output is quite I don't mediocre. like the washed out colors of my OnePlus 2's display. The saturation is also quite low and now CM14 base ROM supports display tweaking in settings for that single feature I am using this ROM. Stock camera is not as good as the OS camera but you can flash the OS camera zip any day. All things apart but this ROM is well known for the customization it offers. We simply have to spend hours on discovering it's awesome. So this ROM is stable enough to use it as a daily driver. It's fast and fluid and you can get through the day easily. The battery life is also quite like good. If you like this video, hit that like button and if you didn't, vote it down. Constructive criticisms are always welcome. 
and if you have any queries regarding this video you can always comment down below for more videos like this subscribe to visitech and i'm virtual chauhan from visitech signing off